What's up guys, JP back again, and this time we're gonna be talking about cardio. The most effective pieces, the benefits thereof, and how you can get them. Now, there's a lot of false rumors and information out there when it comes down to cardio, but let me break it down like this. If you wanna get the most benefit out of it, you've gotta do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. There's just no way around it. But we can simulate an empty stomach by doing a resistance workout first. So by lifting heavy things, you empty your stomach out of all of its food stores. Now it's just like doing cardio on an empty stomach. The first one we're gonna start with, the stair mill. Deadly and intimidating. Its effectiveness though cannot be denied. Small increments can get you started and building on difficulty as you become more accustomed to it. We wanna start with about 10 minutes and add one minute every week. One of the things we've got to concentrate on is keeping the feet in line and straight. A lot of people with big feet tend to bow their feet out to the sides, but that can be hard on the knees. So keep them straight as much as possible. Number two on the effectiveness scale is gonna be the treadmill. What a lot of people don't realize about the treadmill is that it's not like walking outside. You aren't pushing your body forward, you're pushing your body weight up off of a moving track. This changes running and walking greatly. Try not to grab onto the machine as you walk. You don't walk outside holding onto a machine or handles, so try not to do it here. If you've been walking at a 15 incline and holding onto the machine, congratulations, you've been wasting your time. Then, make sure you challenge yourself with pacing. If you can hold a conversation, or text, or hit Facebook while you're on the treadmill, congratulations, you've been wasting your time. Up next, we have the arc trainers and the ellipticals. Very similar in form and function, these are great for people who are recovering or rehabbing from injury or who have generally lower body issues and mobility problems. The ease of motion for the lower leg joints and back make it a favorite of people taking it easy. But we can make these in any machine harder and more effective by adding in small intervals. First, it's one minute out of every 10 minutes with the intervals slowly getting longer. Then we raise either the incline, resistance, or pace for a heart rate increasing spike. These spikes will help you increase your calorie burn and get you sweating. Now the rowers are one of the least used pieces of equipment in the gym, but are very effective for working different body parts than you're used to normally doing in cardio. You can change up the difficulty by adjusting the pull or the body positioning or your hand position by doing things like upright rows, or bicep curls, or simply going at a hard pace. The more you keep your body guessing, the better your results are gonna be. For Shaw TV and Just Ask, I'm JP Parsonage. Stay fit, stay healthy.